So, uh, EA have released a new Fantasy Four player, Antonio from West Ham, has been giving himself an 88 rated card. Looks obviously pretty decent. Tim's a really good pace, uh, shooting, physicality. Looks absolutely insane as well. And obviously has the potential to go up to a 91 rated card if he does manage to get all three upgrades. If you want to see how the upgrades work, head over to one of my videos on how the uh, Fantasy Foot upgrades work in FIFA 22. But uh, only one segment to this SPC, which is fantastic for a Premier League striker. That's absolutely insane. And only an 85 rated with no team of the weeks that is a hundred percent probably already worth doing especially with the fact that you would like to think at minimum especially how good west ham would be this season could get at least a minimum of a couple upgrades Let's have a look at his in-game stats in a second uh as well and kind of see how he compares just there so uh, only three star weak foot which is obviously a bit of a shame and sadly with these cards although they do get overall and stats upgrades their weak foots and skill moves aren't increased so a three star weak foot is a little bit of a letdown i suppose the four star skill moves obviously aren't too bad his pace is a very weird pace but his sprint speed is absolutely insane celebration not too much his shooting stats are very very good aside from his long shots his dribbling stats itself uh, apart from composure again slightly it's a bit of a weird card this and some of his stats are insane and some of them aren't quite now obviously it's a shame that his weak foot's never going to get increased but in terms of his composure his long shots and stuff like that they will get increased with the more upgrades that he does get you know that composure can easily eventually maybe if it gets all three upgrades that composure is going to be in the mid 80s comfortably which is going to be a lot more better you know his heading jumping is fantastic his physicalities are really really good um his uh Traits are kind of nice and power header and flair. It's a shame he doesn't have like outside foot shot or finesse shots or whatever. It's a pretty good card on the whole. I think if he gets all of his upgrades or at least maybe gets a couple upgrades, he'll probably end up being an SBC worth doing. He's not going to be a game breaker in this game. He's not going to break the game because of the fact that there's just too many parts of this card that kind of let him down a little bit. His 77 curve, his 79 composure, his uh, his AC long shots, his uh, his freestyle weak foot of course. Don't get me wrong, he'll be decent. But uh, I think if EA knew that this guy was going to be ridiculously insane in game they probably would have upped the requirements a little bit more and made him a lot more expensive than what he is so don't get me wrong i feel like if he ends up getting two or three upgrades he is going to become a very very good card but i think just at the moment despite some of his stats look absolutely insane and his base stats look really really good when you go into his in-game stats a few of his stats and that in particular the freestyle weak foot do let him down a little bit but i i could still understand people um completing this SPC for a premier league striker i still think there is probably pretty decent value in, in Completing him, linking him up with that foot birthday, uh, Declan Rice as well. So, yeah, on the whole, still a pretty decent SBC, just a few, a slight shame about some of his stats. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys later.